O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Very warm welcome to evening prayer according to the Book of Common Prayer on this Thursday evening, the day when we remember the birth of St John the Baptist. first lesson is the fourth chapter of the book of Malachi. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked, 
for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Here endeth the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit have rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is taken from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11. Now when John had heard in a prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, and said unto him, Art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do and hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets, and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Here endeth the second lesson. 
Lord, now let us to thou thy servants depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of a Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of a body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, by whose providence thy servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born, and sent to prepare the way of thy Son, our Saviour, by preaching of repentance. Make us so to follow his doctrine and holy life, that we may truly repent according to his preaching, and after his example constantly speak the truth, boldly rebuke vice, and patiently suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, but both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we being defended from the fear of our enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
on this day in the Diocese of Lincoln cycle of prayer, we are asked to pray for the East Loveden group of parishes and their priest, the Reverend Georgie Machel. We are asked to pray that the Holy Spirit may bring vision to their planning, guidance and direction for the future of Ancaster, Haydor, Kelby, Roseby, Welby and Wilsford churches. In the worldwide church, we pray for the Diocese of Chubu in the Nippon Seiko Kai. And across the diocese and parish today, we are praying for the press and media, praying for all who live in our parish working in these sectors, as well as for media organisations based in our town, including the Grimsby Telegraph, BBC Radio Humberside and That's TV. Grant that your Church of God, here and in every place, may offer a living worship to you in your glory and a living witness to the world in its need. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. On this day, the Church remembers the birth of St John the Baptist. We give thanks for the ministry of John and pray for all churches dedicated to St John the Baptist. We pray for former Minster Curate Father Chris Davis and for all who minister or worship at the Church of St John the Baptist in Loughton, Essex, where he is now rector. O glorious St John the Baptist, greatest prophet among those born of woman, although you were sanctified in your mother's womb and did lead a most innocent life, nevertheless it was your will to retire into the wilderness, there to devote yourself to the practice of austerity and penance. Or tame for me from your Lord the grace to be wholly detached, at least in my heart, from earthly goods, and to practice Christian mortification with interior recollection and with the spirit of holy prayer. O most zealous apostle, who without working any miracle on others, but solely by the example of your life of penance and the power of your word, did draw after you the multitudes in order to dispose them to receive the Messiah worthily and to listen to his heavenly doctrine. Grant that it may be given unto me by means of your example of a holy life and the exercise of every good work to bring many souls to God, but above all, to those souls that are enveloped in the darkness of error and ignorance and are led astray by vice. O martyr invincible, who for the honour of God and the salvation of souls did with firmness and constancy withstand the impiety of Herod, even at the cost of your own life, and did rebuke him openly for his wicked and dissolute life. By your prayers obtain for me a heart brave and generous, in order that I may overcome all human respect and openly profess my faith in loyal obedience to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Pray for me, St John the Baptist, that I may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, who hast made this day to be honourable in our eyes by the commemoration of blessed John the Baptist, Grant unto your people the grace of spiritual joy and direct the minds of all your faithful into the way of everlasting salvation. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>